Let's solve these equations together. It says x plus y is equal to 6 and xy is equal to 36. You are required to solve for x and y. Okay. Now, the first thing to do here is to say that from equation, let's call this equation 2. I'll call this equation 1. We say from equation 2, okay, we have that xy is equal to 36 and y is equal to 36 over x okay so this is what it means now we're going to put 36 over x to be equal to y in equation one okay let's do that quickly so equation one is x plus y is equal to six now if you put y as 36 over x here it becomes x plus 36 over x is equal to six now let's multiply each term by x okay so this x times x is x squared, 36 over x times x is 36, and 6 times x is 6x, okay? So that this implies that x squared minus 6x plus 36 will now become equal to 0, okay? Now from here, we can use the quadratic formula to solve. The quadratic formula states that our x here will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Our a is 1, b is equal to minus 6, and c is equal to 36, okay? So from here, we're going to have that our x will be equal to minus minus 6 is plus 6 plus or minus square root of minus c squared is 36 minus 4ac is 4 times 1 times 36, which is 144. Okay, all over 2a is 2 times 1, which is 2. From here, our x will become equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 144 minus 36 is 108. Okay, minus 108 all over 2. From here, our x becomes equal to 6 plus or minus square root of. Now, minus 108 is the same thing as square root of 36 times square root of 3 times square root of minus 1 all over 2, okay? Square root of 36 times square root of 3 is square root of 108 times square root of one, minus 1 is square root of minus 108, okay? So now we have that our x becomes equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 is 6, okay? So root of 36 is 6, so we put 6 times root of 3 is root of 3 times Square root of minus 1 is something as i, okay? When you see this, it stands for i, all right? So you can replace this with i, all right? All over 2. Now our x becomes equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus or minus 6 divided by 2 is 3 i root 3, okay? So this is the value for our x. Now from here, let's find y, okay? So we can say, recall that y is equal to 36 over x. And our x is equal to 3 plus 3i root 3. So y will be equal to 36 divided by 3 plus 3i root 3. Okay? Now this is an irrational fraction. Now let's rationalize this denominator. We now have that y will be equal to 36 over 3 plus 3i root 3 times the conjugate of this denominator will now be 3 minus 3i root 3 divided by 3 minus 3i root 3 okay now this becomes equal to we can factor out 3 from here so we have 36 times 3 into 1 minus i root 3 okay we factorize 3 all over 3 squared minus 3i root 3 all squared this follows from difference of 2 squared okay now the difference of 2 squares, what does it state? The difference of 2 squares states that when we have a squared minus b squared, it's equal to a plus b times a minus b. Okay? So this is the law of difference of 2 squares. Now we now see, continuing, let's y now be equal to that 6 times 3 is 108 multiplied by 1 minus i root 3 all over 3 squared is 9 minus 
3i root 3 all squared is 27. Okay, so 27, this will become plus 27. All right, now we now have that y will be equal to 108 into 1 minus i root 3 all over 36. Okay, 36 divided by 1 by 108 is 3. Okay, so y is equal to 3 into i 1 minus i root 3. Okay, hence our y is equal to 3 minus 3i root 3 when x is equal to 3 plus 3i root 3. Okay, if this follows, then this condition will also follow. Okay, so it means that when x is equal to 3 minus 3i root 3, uh, y is equal to 3 plus 3i root 3. Okay, hence the values, the answers for this question is x is equal to 3 plus or minus 3i root 3, and this is equal to y. Okay, so these are the answers to this question. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.